All right, what wondrous love is this? So I begin on the third fret, second string. Often I'll use pinky there, but you can certainly use your third finger. And I'll play that and usually add a little bit of vibrato on that note. Then if you take a look at the first full measure, we have that, all quarter notes, like that. So we begin on beat three. So we go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then a half bar at five. So I'm covering fifth fret, third, second, first strings. Often I will roll this chord. And then down to the third fret, open. And then we have this. The full chord is a D minor chord with an F in the bass. But since I'm not playing that first string, I don't usually put that finger down. But you have these three notes, the second, third, and fourth strings. After that, third fret, and then first fret. So that line slowly goes like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right, measure five. We have a C chord, and I will usually do kind of a slower strum, and I'll use the flesh of my thumb to get kind of a darker sound. And then you go up to the A minor chord up here, like that. So measure five, you got one, two, three, four. And then I go back to that half bar that we had in the second full measure, except I have my pinky on that eighth fret. Seventh fret, fifth fret, and then you can pick up the eighth fret on the second string. So that measure is gonna go. And then we have this half bar again. And then you have a C chord with your pinky on that third fret on the first string. And then open first. And I do keep that C chord down so the other notes are ringing when I go to that open first string. Then we have that D minor uh, with the F in the bass. So if I begin measure five, we've got one, two, three, four, one, Now this is a fermata, so I do hold it. As I recall, when I first transcribed this, uh, that measure was a 6-4 time, whereas everything else was in 4-4 four, four time. But I decided to put a fermata here, and so I hold it for just a little bit, and then I start the next phrase. So speaking of the next phrase, we've got the third fret on the first string, and then the melody is going to continue on that first string, and you have this bass note right there on the F. So you have... So I do try and keep this finger down as much as I can. And then I have to let go when I go up to the eighth fret right there. So you've got. And then a half bar at 10 plus open four. And I'll play this a couple different ways. Um, I might roll a chord or I might just take my thumb and go like that. But you play that twice. And then we have this chord again, which is the same thing as what we saw in measure six. And then it goes to the fifth fret. And then, so again, two, three, and four. That D minor slash F chord. If you take a look at measure 13, we have that and we have that C chord, pinky, full A minor chord, third fret, open, D minor, the F in the bass, C chord, A minor, and then that, this is going to be the same as measure six. And you have a half bar at five. That C chord with the pinky down, open, and then you have that chord right there. So since it's such a quick arrangement, often I'll play it twice. And so the first time I'll play it more of a, a normal, a natural sound, 
normal I don't know what to call it. It's my sort of in the middle sound. So I'll go. And then the second time through, I'll play it more ponticello. Just for something a little bit different. And then the very last time I play it, if I play it two times, then I'll make sure I do a, a big retardando at uh, measure 18. So I'll really bring it, bring it, I'll, I will really slow down the tempo on that last time just to bring it, bring it home. So, so you have something like this. And then a retardando. Mm -hmm. 